my dearly beloved, it's always so good to come to your various offices and homes with a surest word. And as you listen to me, either on a plane or in your car or on a ship or wherever that you find yourself, I want you to know that we want to form a critical mass of spiritual people, people who are so intelligent in the word of God and can really, really put themselves up in the world and challenge any system. My name is Patrick M. Hagen, and I am the creator of the Sherwood's Word platform, both on WhatsApp and also on Facebook. I speak on various topics, and I have books on Amazon. On Amazon, you can have access to my book, Breaking the Father's Codes. You can have The Anatomy of Caution. You can have The Cry of an African Mother. You can have also uh, Overcoming the Seven Basic Fears in Life. You can also have You Are Who You Are. And as you assess these books, you can also have several of the articles that I've written that are on WhatsApp and also on Facebook. Together, it is all aimed at equipping you and making you a better person as we all grow into the knowledge of God and become better people even in the kingdom. Today, I'm delighted to share with you uh, a word of God that I have titled Terms of Reference. And my topic uh, is taken from Ephesians 3 and verse 11. And I'll be reading from the Amplified Bible. And it says, This is in accordance with the terms of the eternal and timeless purpose which he has realized and carried into effect in the person of Jesus Christ, our Lord. In the world of labor, two key people are important, the employee and employer. The employee becomes the person who is offered an appointment according to his skill set, and the employer is the appointing authority. Now, due to the fact that there is the possibility of what is called bad faith, labor experts have made it a law that before any employee is offered a job, he is given an appointment letter with the terms of reference copiously stated in it. This document, which becomes a legal document, can then be used as an evidence in a court of competent jurisdiction should one of the parties breach the contract terms. In fact, terms of reference is not only applied in the area of labor, but actually in every situation where an appointment would have to be made. Leaning on this legal framework alluded to above, each one of us enters planet Earth with an appointment with destiny, anchored on eternal terms of references, which was predestined before the fulfillment of time for us to be manifested here on Earth. However, these terms of references are able to work for you in the true sense of it if you know them. Just as the employer who beautifully crafts a nice terms of reference for your appointment and afterwards locks it in his safe can cheat the employee, so can life cheat anybody who doesn't know and understand his terms of reference for coming to this world. Hence, to be able to know and understand your terms of reference for life very well, you need to go back to the appointing authority, your creator, who reveals everything to the world through his son Jesus Christ. For in him we live, move, and have our being. Acts 17, 28. Understand that the ship that doesn't have a proper bearing on the high seas would get lost and stray into undesignated territories. But if the same ship have the right coordinates and the right captain who understands how to interpret geographical coordinates, the ship always lands at the right harbor. And so my prayer for you this day is that may God cause you to understand the terms of reference for your life so as to please him in every bit of it as you journey on. Shalom.